The Federal Aviation Administration actually delivered for once on its expectation to release the results of the final programmatic environmental assessment without further delay. That's right, the one that dictates whether or not Starship can attempt to launch for orbit. So let's find out together what our American tax dollars bought us over these past 12 months. I'm Kevin, and this is a breaking episode of SpaceX in the News. After a handful of delays and an entire year of watching the wheels of the government turn oh so slowly, the Federal Aviation Administration has revealed that Starship Super Heavy is go for launch, but with conditions. To be totally transparent, I read these legal documents myself without the help of the lawyer wife because apparently she's too busy having a good time in Miami without me. So this is just what I took away from the reads. The FAA has granted SpaceX a finding of no significant impact or FONSI which means the company can move forward with their launch to orbit under an experimental license so long as they take more than 75 actions to mitigate environmental impacts from its proposed plan. That will have to be done before the FAA gives them an official launch license for the Boca Chica area. This was the proposed action that was SpaceX's preferred alternative to not being granted a full-on launch license. And if you want to read further details, like what those 75 actions SpaceX must take are, I provided a link to both the final PEA and FONSI below. SpaceX tweeted they are one step closer to the first orbital flight test of Starship. So the company will likely continue testing Stage 0 at the launch site, like they did last Friday with some chopstick deadlifts, and preparing Starship 24 and Booster 7 for upcoming static fires using new Raptor 2 engines. Thermal protection covers for the engines have been spotted on site ready for installation, as well as aero covers for Booster 7's hydraulic power units and Starship's aft flaps. Even NASA was spotted on site at Starbase over the weekend to tour the facilities and receive a personal update on the human landing system that will take their astronauts to the lunar surface for Artemis. But I will add a personal message here because a lot of you had questions after last Friday's video. I wouldn't get too excited and expect to see an orbital launch anytime soon. Definitely not this month, probably not even next month either. If I were to guess, taking into consideration the potential engineering and legal problems ahead, I'd say it's a pretty good bet that we're looking at August at the earliest. That's all for today, but I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe if you dare, member up if you must, links to support the channel are below. But have an nominal work week. Until our next one, Godspeed. <laughs>